well uh, good morning so today uh, we are going to see how to construct an isometric view without giving an orthographic views that is front view and top view so the questions uh, will be given in the form of a sentence uh, so that uh, now let us see or uh, read the problem uh, you can see at the problem one second you can see the problem a square pyramid of uh, the tmm base that is side and uh, 50 mm long axis uh, centrally placed on the top of a cube centrally placed on the top of a cube of uh, 50 mm long edges and draw the isometric view of the pair so here you have to confirm that <coughs> excuse me here you have to confirm that there are two solids one is a square <coughs> a square pyramid and another one is a cube so which one to be drawn first at the base and which solid is to be kept on one another so here on the reading the question it is clearly mentioned that a square pyramid is placed on the cube a square pyramid is placed on the cube so because you can see in the sentence it is centrally placed on the top of a cube of 50 mm long edges right so now uh, first we have to draw the cube of 50 mm and then you have to find out the midpoint of that one then next on that midpoint you have to construct a square pyramid uh, square and uh, you have to take the axis of the square and put the apex point such that you connect all the lines uh, such that you will get the answer so now let us see the construction procedure of the particular problem so right you can see now so first of all uh, draw a line here so this is a base line and you draw the horizontal line so it is a side and this one is the width of that one and next uh, whatever the height it is given that is a cube of 50 mm long edges so one height so this is also height and this is also height and you construct you just you join all these lines with uh, so so this is a cube of a 50 mm side and after that you have to place a square pyramid centrally on its top so now draw a light line passing through midpoints of this line and this line now it got the midpoint of the cube midpoint of the cube on this midpoint you have to place 30 mm base side so now you have to connect this one 30 mm that means uh, this is a 30 mm side okay which is and 50 mm long axis so the height of this axis is 50 mm so now construct a, a square which is having 30 mm side so 30 mm means you take 50 mm this side you take 15 mm this side so the total length will be 30 mm and from this particular point 15 mm and from midpoint to this side 15 mm then draw a line and you form a square of 30 mm here after drawing a square what is the height of the square pyramid this is 50 mm okay so from this particular point you draw a line with 50 mm so you draw a line with 50 mm so from this top of this point join this point number 1 this point this point so three point so now you can read this is uh, 50 mm okay and join this one to this point next join this one to this point and this point so now it is very clear that the behind this uh, square pyramid it is not seen so here there is no need of drawing the dark lines and it should be erased in the isometric view such that it is a perfect picture right so this is uh, the construction procedure of the uh, square uh, pyramid which is placed centrally on the cube of edges 
mm diameter right so right okay next you will give the dimensions of this particular views okay next let us go for the uh, next problem that is uh, here we will see a triangular pyramid of 30 mm base this is a triangular pyramid the before problem is a square pyramid triangular pyramid base of uh, 30 mm base side and 50 mm long axis is centrally placed on the cube the same cube okay so let us see how it is going to be done so once again these are the iso solution hints so you can uh, read it out by pausing the video okay then next uh, draw a base line then next you draw a line uh, 30 degrees line and left hand side 30 degrees line and what is the height of the cube this is cube height is 50 mm so 50 mm height from this midpoint and take 50 mm towards right and take 50 mm towards left okay and next draw the height of 50 mm from both sides and join all these uh, end points okay so why i have drawn these two lines lightly because when a uh, triangular pyramid is placed centrally on the top this may be invisible that is why i have taken it as a light line okay a small or a light as a thin line next you have to place centrally the triangular pyramid so how can you place a triangular pyramid so you have to take the uh, a small construction construction method so that is like this so here you have to construct a triangle and after constructing a triangle you have to make one two three points fourth point and this is the midpoint of the that is axis of the triangular pyramid okay so now you place the same thing on this axis of this one okay how you have to make it so this line so this line and a b c is a point p is a point on the base that is another point and o is the axis point <coughs> excuse me the same point is going to be projected on the top of the cube so like this uh, the horizontal line and here it is a vertical line so now i will place this one o as this midpoint so this is o after that i know what is the distance between o and p so now i will locate p point then after that i locate a line that is i know the length of the ab line i'll draw ab line then next i will locate all these points a and b after that i know the point c is also here okay so by taking from a to c and b to c i will make an arc on this side i will locate the point c then i will try to join these two with the light lines because whichever the part is invisible i will make it invisible right after that what is the height of the axis the height of the axis 30 mm base sides and 50 mm long axis so from point to go i'll draw a line 50 mm above okay from this particular point i'll draw a line to a i'll draw a line to p and i'll draw a line to c okay see here so this is uh, 50 mm and i'll draw a line here i'll draw a point to c to c now this is up to this point it is visible and up to this point it is visible and this line is also visible okay okay this one is uh, visible so now this is a complete uh, uh, picture where a triangular pyramid is placed centrally on the cube of 50 mm side so uh, let us go for the another problem that is uh, this is another problem okay uh, then i will show you here so a square plate is pierced thoroughly through a centrally by a cylinder which comes out equally from both sides of the plates so this is uh, one of the best example for uh, shaft and bearing shaft and bearing so oka bearing ni manam shaft meeda place chesinappudu that rod will be pierced inside to the bearing so here uh, i can treat this one as a bearing and i can uh, this one 
sorry, as a square plate, and uh, I'm going to sit in the shaft. Okay, so now how to construct this one? So this is uh, very easy. So this is a front view, and this is a top view of the object. Then now draw a line, x y line, and next draw a line horizontal. That is front view, and this is the breadth of this one. This is length and depth. In the same way, whatever the length of the square is there, that is the side of a square, 50 mm. You take 50 mm side. Okay, you construct a square here. Okay, and what is the height of this one? The height of this one is 10 mm. So I will take 10 mm, and I complete this uh, uh, square plate. So this one, this is the square plate. Okay. So after taking the square plate, I will locate the midpoint of this one. Okay. <clears throat> I look at the midpoint, right? And next, I will construct a circle here. So because it is a shaft, so now you know all this one. Uh, how to construct a circle in the isometric view, right? So now I will draw a circle. And what about the height of this one? So the equally faces equal height. So whatever the height which is there here, that is 30 mm. So it is given in the front view. So from this point, I will take 30 mm. Okay, adjust and uh, this point. I will construct the same thing at this particular point. Four points, right? I'll construct another one. So here you have to make the uh, same procedure as base. You have done at the base. The same procedure you have done uh, for a shortcut. I have drawn directly. I imagine and the same uh, the top uh, surface that is the cylinder or a shaft which is inclined that is going to be replicated to the. Down also, so the behind the uh, portion is erased away, and here you can extend this once, and uh, at the bottom, and you have to keep it. And this one is going to be erased. So this is the uh, isometric view of the picture. Okay, right. Thank you very much. If you are having any doubts uh, regarding, you please put it in the comment box, such that I will give a reply. Thank you thank you for watching my channel all the best